Hello my friends, and welcome back to another Brotato Danger 5 random random run. Hope you're all doing well. Today we are of course taking a random character and random weapon, trying to beat Danger 5 with it. I know I've already uh, done every character and ev uh, with random weapons, I just finished that series, but this is what I felt like doing, so we're just going to jump in and do a classic random random run. We can do any character now, because we no longer have to re-roll ones I've already covered, so let's just see what we get and what weapon it gives me. We've got the Hunter, which is a really interesting and very difficult character. Um, I did Thief Dagger for the previous random run, and of course Crossbow for my guide, so we'll roll to any other of the four weapons and see what we get. Let's re-roll that one, and all right, Hunter with Claw. So this is a really odd one. The extra range on Claw is actually not terrible, because it's a very short range weapon by default, so the extra range helps. And the crit chance modifier is, of course, pretty good. It works very well with the precise weapon tag, so that'll be nice. But as a melee character with no harvesting, so you're going to be behind on economy compared to any character that's buying harvesting, and HP modification reduction, we're going to be struggling to have the defenses that we need in order to make a melee build like claw work so let's see what we can do and whether we can make this happen so you can see here our our range is actually not bad but of course that does come with some downsides claw has a relatively weak swing speed so um, the extra range does cost us somewhat significantly in terms of our real attack speed normally that's something that you can mostly ignore in brotato but for the hunter which gets kind of the the extreme case with plus 100 range, it does actually make a difference. I'm just going to go for attack speed here. We need that with claw. It's worth flat damage as well as obviously just being attack speed, so that's pretty good in and of itself. Unfortunately, didn't roll a claw, so let's reroll and then now we'll buy one. Uh, baby Gecko is pretty interesting for the hunter. So hunter gets 1% damage for every 10 range you have, but Normally, Baby Gecko is good because you're a ranged character, so the materials will drop far away. On uh, this version of the Hunter, I don't think we need it, and the 10 range is only 1% damage. So, on the Hunter, when you're not building crossbows, I honestly think you can totally ignore its bonus damage from range, because the 1% per 10 range is just not going to be a significant component of your damage. You're more just a crit build um, with a small initial damage boost, and the crit chance modification is the big positive that you have, but on a melee build like this, Hunter is mostly a, a class that has only downsides. We're going to re-roll here. I don't want the boxing glove. I'm going to roll again. Wow, getting really unlucky not finding any claws here, but I will take Cake. It's very important to buy HP on this character because it's so hard to get. Ugly Tooth, I don't think we're going to buy. We're just going to try to have enough damage to actually kill stuff, and then we'll re-roll by another claw. Lost Duck, this is uh, one way to get economy on this character, is to buy items like this, because we can't have harvesting, but we can have luck. Um, and then I'll roll again. Very unlucky to have only found three claws with, like, five re-rolls there, I will say. That is well below average. So we're, we're running a little bad so far in this run. Hopefully we can recover with some good luck in the next shop. As you can see, we only have 8 HP right now because the Hunter's health reduction does extend to the HP you get from levels. Which is why it's so important to buy HP on this character. I'm going to re-roll here, I think. I'd like... Uh, melee damage or attack speed, something like that. Yeah, I'll take four melee damage. It only scales 50%, but it's still worth buying melee damage on the claw because it's going to attack pretty often. It'll be multiplied aggressively by the fact that you have a lot of crit chance and, and so on. Roll again, buy claw, roll again, roll again. Um, and we weren't able to find another one, so we're really running behind in terms of how many weapons we have. It's really important that we get this weapon set online quickly too, because it, we need it for our crit chance, and that's going to be a big chunk of our damage. And we need it for our... Oh, I have to heal up here. Any hits we take are a huge percentage of our health as well. We need it for our critical hit chance, which is a huge chunk of our damage to get our weapon set online, and of course we're going to be behind in economy since we can't use harvesting compared to a lot of other characters. So um, it's it's even more painful that we are struggling to find our weapon set. I'll take attack speed here and then again just flat melee damage. I really just want to be killing stuff. We'll buy a claw. 
Luckily, we did find one here, and then we will buy these two economy items. Roll again. No claw, but I will buy a uh, crit chance here. I think that's going to be good enough. Armor, I'm not going to worry about yet. We'll need it later, but I need to get enough max HP to make it worth having any armor before I focus on buying it. In general, I would say that the hunters, except when you're using crossbows, um, which also get base damage from range, the hunters tying range to damage is secretly a downside because it means that you are either incentivized to buy inefficient items like glasses, um, or you are penalized for buying very good items that decrease your range, of which there are several. Um... I think I want the luck here. I Obviously, we would love 4 HP even, but I think this is early enough. I'm going to take the economy item. And then here we will take the insanity. I will take the claw tree. I don't think I'm going to buy sunglasses. I don't really want to go to negative armor. And I'll roll here. Finally got to max out my weapon set. So we have 15% dodge. So that's, that's something that's going well for us. And we'll lock this level 2 claw. I'm not going to re-roll because I've got a weapon locked already. Oh, wait, no, this is a fist. Um, for whatever reason, I was seeing this and thinking it was a claw. Well, I'll hang on to it for this round. Uh, but obviously, that was a mistake to buy. And outside the... Uh, the random weapons. I guess I should have sold it in, in, to strictly comply with the random weapon challenge, but you know, the one fist more or less is not going to make a big difference this wave. Especially if I just die to taking another hit. We need to hit, I don't know, like 40 HP before the first elite if possible and I need some regeneration as well which we currently have none of so we're definitely struggling in terms of finding the stats that we need I'll take the percent damage here that's going to be really important we'll sell out of this fist and buy the claw um, I don't really want to decrease my HP even by a small amount to buy the armor so I'm just going to reroll here very happy to buy the coffee attack speed is obviously very important and then uh, defective steroids will take, even though we lose some attack speed, it's so important to get armor, um, I, or HP. I think I will buy one armor here. Um, we'll need to repair our speed at some point, but the defensive stats are going to be really important later on. And we're starting to reach the point where I'm going to get one shot by enemies, so I, I wanted to make sure I don't hit that point anytime soon just because I've found no health. As you can see, most characters at this point would have something like 25 health just from level ups and having bought just a little bit, uh, whereas the hunter is has a lot less um, because you lose your starting health. So it the minus 33% works out to even less health than you think it will. Surprised by how much uh, materials we're leaving on the ground here. I'm going to reroll this. I do want the, the attack speed or the HP, but I think we can get a level 2 upgrade. And yeah, I'll take 2 melee damage and then 10% attack speed. That's great. That's a big boost for us. The warrior helmet is something that I definitely want as well. Do I want it now or do I want to try to find more damage first? I think I will just... Uh, go ahead and buy it now so we're not wasting a shop slot on it. Now I need a move speed item, but that helps a lot with our survivability. I'm going to let the slashers hatch because I think we have the damage to kill them. We've been buying damage pretty aggressively. And we're a critical hit build. If we could find a hunting trophy, that would also help me a lot. Yeah, you can see that now that we have the warrior helmet, so we have a little more base HP and just a little more armor, um, we're not in danger of dying in only two hits, which just makes me feel a lot safer in terms of playing around this combo. I still can't get over how hard it was to find six claws. 
I know uh, Hunter is marked with ranged weapons, so you are more likely to find ranged weapons in the shop, but still, that was a lot. Uh, that was very unlucky. I think I'll just take the, the dodge here. Dodge is a multiplier on your max HP, so it's better the more HP you have, but this is a level 2 dodge upgrade. I think I will just grab it. Um, we can grab a bunch of luck here, and I think I will. That will give me more consumable healing, so it can delay having to buy healing for a while. And then I'm just going to take 2 HP. Yes, it cost me 75, but uh, we just need HP. We'll buy the blindfold here for sure. Do I want missile as well? I don't think so, because it costs us so much in terms of damage. And missile's just a pretty inefficient item in general. So now I'm going to try to focus damage as much as possible before the elite. It looks like we will not get to the point where we are able to survive hits from the elite. So I really just need to focus on having enough damage to burst it down. Spicy sauce is such a weak item, but I think it was important to buy here just because we were, so, we were so critically starved for health. You pay an, a tremendous premium for health on this character, but sometimes you just have to do that. I really would like some consumable heal, because that's our main source of healing right now, so if we could find a lemonade, that would help out a lot. Pretty weak income this wave as well. Lure is good, we need uh, regeneration, and we'll, we'll be able to kill that. I will take the attack speed here. I think uh, the damage is very tempting, but attack speed is even more important for us. And then we will upgrade our claw, buy a blindfold, which gives me more dodge and crit chance, which is great. So now we're at a 50% chance to crit with these blindfolds, so that helps out a lot. Stone skin is kind of interesting for this character. Um, we're just going to buy the coupon here. I'm also tempted by this medical turret. It's a way to heal that we currently don't have, and it's a big percentage of our health if we do that. Um, stone skin is going to give me a very small amount of health, but turns any armor I find into health, which matters a lot for this character. I think I will lock it here. We may or may not end up actually buying it, but I think, um, giving myself the chance to do that is something that I'm willing to do. It'll depend a little bit just on what we find in the shop, what types of crates we find, if any. And if I have to roll past it, it just costs me one chop slot, so not a, an enormous penalty to speculate on that. Surprised by how much we're leaving materials on the ground. Trying to kill that loot alien there. Then I need to work my way across to this side of the map to try to get the loot alien since it ran away from me, but we got it in the end. A bag would have been such a good find as well. We, we did not find anything along those lines. So obviously the, the spicy sauce is not going to do any damage, right? But I think it was still worth buying just for the two HP that it, it gave me. Pretty weak income for wave nine, but still okay. I'm going to buy armor because I think now that I have the stone skin locked, I can buy duct tape and stuff like that. We'll take the spicy sauce again. Obviously, again, it's not doing any damage, but it's giving me some HP. Recycle that. And then, yeah, we'll take improved tools. It's not, we're not going to use the engineering effect of it probably, but 10% attack speed is 10% attack speed. And then let's reroll. We've got 50 luck. We can get a level two upgrade here. I'll take four regeneration. I think that will give me some healing and we need some health and then we'll take nine percent dodge all right we're getting a little bit closer to the defensive stats we need tentacle is a big find as well that's a lot of healing so i'll definitely take that we'll take stone skin um going down to three armor but that will give me hp over the rest of the game and i will take peaceful b as well losing one melee damage but it'll only cost me half a damage per attack and gives me dodge um we don't get anything from the harvesting but this is getting us pretty close to dodge cap, which is nice. I'm then maybe going to decrease that to buy the acid, because again, we're so starved for health. I think I will do that. We'll buy the duct tape as well. It only cost me, uh, I guess we lose 1.3, 1.33 max HP and gain 0.66 from it, from the armor. 
So it only costs me 0.66 of an HP and gives me an armor there. We'll buy the Blood Leech as well, because we want more regeneration, I think, and it doesn't cost us harvesting. Lifesteal and regeneration are both fine for this build. We're going to be attacking quickly, hopefully. And we'll see if we can make it past the Elite. Right now, I'm honestly not that optimistic. Um, maybe locking the Blood Leech was a mistake, because we just need damage. Usually you want to find good non-harvesting economy items on this character to make up for the, the downsides. Things like Scar and, and so on are pretty valuable, but we have not found those things yet. Getting a little overwhelmed by the ma amount of enemies on the field and our relatively uh, weak wave clear. So I'm just taking hits. But at least we have the tentacle, which is keeping me near full health. Oh, there's a loot alien down there. We're not going to be able to get that in time. We'll recycle the strange book. We're not going to be building elemental damage. So that's an unfortunate loss for us. I could take the percent damage, but three just three damage per attack is fine. We'll just take the, the melee damage there. Cyberball, I'm not going to buy... Oh! I, I hadn't noticed this was a horde and not an elite. Okay, this that actually makes this character a lot safer. We got a little lucky there. If this was an elite, I'd feel really bad. With a horde, I feel like we are in much better shape. In fact, I might take the cyberball to help with wave clear with the horde. No, I, I don't think I can afford to do that. I, I just want to roll for things that actually will help. I'll take sad tomato, though. That's actually a, a lot of healing for us. And the incendiary turret alongside our improved tools might help wave clear the horde and give us a lot of money. It's often worth throwing one of these into even non-engineering builds, so I'm going to do that. I think that will pay for itself, actually, this wave um, pretty quickly. We could buy 2% damage by buying the glasses. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, I don't think we have... Actually, we might have the healing to buy Weird Ghost, so I'm going to lock the Weird Ghost, and I'll lock the Baby Gecko. We can buy our 1% damage, and the Gecko will help. But buying glasses on this character I just don't think is usually worth it. Unless, obviously, you're the crossbow version. It's just, it's 2% damage, so it's it's a very expensive way to buy a very small amount of damage. I'm trying to pull enemies past the incendiary turret to gain additional wave clear. And you can see it's it's helping out a lot probably going to kill, I don't know, like 30 materials worth of enemies this wave. This horde wave is definitely dangerous. Um, every hit we take is a huge percentage of our health, so I need to be pretty careful, but I do also want to make my way back through the middle of the map occasionally so we don't leave, you know, a, a thousand materials on the ground. One lemonade would be so valuable for me. <laughs> yeah, so we left 100 materials on the ground, but that's okay. We'll take the mushroom here, and I guess I'm just taking melee damage. We keep finding flat uh, melee damage rather than attack speed, so I guess I could buy this at 50%. Uh, I guess this is the equivalent of a level 1 melee damage upgrade for another class. Um, maybe I'll just re-roll and roll again. All right, well, that did not work out. We'll take the HP, and then here... Crit chance is important, but I'll, I'll take the attack speed. Finn will fix my speed, which is really good, and also the lifesteal isn't worthless for us. We will, in fact, buy this entire shop, get our two free rerolls. Hunting trophy, that's what we needed. And snail, I don't think I want, but I'll lock the hunting trophy and I'll roll again. Um, shackles, I don't think we can afford to buy, even though it's 8% damage, but capping our speed at 3 is pretty bad. Maybe I'll lock the shackles, similar to the stone skin, I'm going to lock the shackles, and if I find speed in this next shop, then I can buy it, because if we even get 10% speed, that's fine, and it gives me a lot of stats that we want. The fact that it's worth 8% damage when we only have 11% right now is, I think, pretty good. I forgot, it, uh, obviously I immediately forgot that I had bought the weird ghost and was like, why am I at 1 HP? But we now have a lot of healing, actually, so I just need the defensive stats to 
support that healing, and I think we'll be okay. The offensive and defensive stats, because critting for 77 on a critical hit focus build is really not where you want to be in the mid game like this. I'm not that worried about buying crit chance, because obviously I'll, I'll take it when it shows up, but really I want to be multiplying the base damage and frequency of my critical hits more than the chance of my critical hits, like the, the attack speed. Um, we have 50% crit strike, so I just need to make sure that our, our base stats are high enough. Um, here though I will still take the crit chance, and then we'll take the attack speed. And small magazine is maybe even worth it for this character, because it gives me um, two base damage on my weapons, which is worth a lot. I didn't find any movement speed, so I don't know if I can afford the shackles. I'll buy the hunting trophy for sure. Wish I'd found that before the horde wave, but obviously you can't have everything. So this would give me two base damage, but reduce my percent damage to two. Is that worth doing? on the small magazine. I think it's too expensive. I think I'm gonna roll once here with my free reroll, leave the shackles locked and hope I find some move speed. And then I didn't, I think I'll buy the shackles anyways though. We just need percent damage. So obviously given that I should have bought them before rerolling, but uh, I made the decision afterwards. I was hoping to have to not have to think about it, but we did have to think about it. Lumberjack shirt we don't need, we should have enough damage to kill the trees pretty quickly anyways, but I will take warrior helmet. Alright, now that we have a hunting trophy, our income should be a lot better. Hunter I think is secretly one of the hardest classes in the game. Um, because it, it doesn't look like, it looks like the ranged thing is going to be an advantage. It's often a disadvantage. And it, like the ranged dam, range being damaged thing is often a disadvantage. And it also baits you into buying weak items like glasses that you wouldn't normally want to buy. Um, and the max HP penalty is much larger than it seems at first glance. It's an extremely severe penalty that... Uh, looks like it's really not going to be that big a deal, but is. So here, I'm definitely still in danger of just dying in like two hits to anything that we see. Made 400, which is really not quite exactly what I wanted, but I will recycle the campfire here. I don't want to decrease my move speed. We'll take duct tape again for the same reason. I'm going to reroll this and see if I can do better. And yeah, we'll take armor. That should help me not get one shot at least. We can buy the warrior helmet and then the beanie. And so this is why like the hunter uh, passive is mostly a disadvantage, I think, because this is costing me some percent damage, even though it's still just a good enough item that we kind of have to buy it anyways. Um, we'll roll here and I'll take the propeller hat and the injection, because I need percent damage quite badly. Can I get away with weird ghost going into wave 14? That's so ambitious, but I think we actually can. We have 26 healing and we have the tentacle, so I think we will will heal uh, pretty quickly. Snail, I still don't think we're going to buy, and I'll just go into this next wave. So obviously, if I take a hit immediately, then we're going to die here, but I think we'll heal up quickly enough that it won't matter. Weird Ghost is one that I think people buy, I've said this before, but I think people do not buy Weird Ghost anywhere near aggressively enough in general, because it's very efficient, it's good for your, your HP, and if you have any sort of adequate healing, you should be able to just heal up all the the health loss before it, you're at risk. Obviously, Elite Waves, or if you buy Bait at the same time, are exceptions, but for the most part, I think that Weird Ghost seems like it's got an extremely severe down downside, but mostly doesn't. So very happy to go into this wave. Wave 14 has lots and lots of enemies on the field, and we've got a hunting trophy, so that should give me at least moderately strong income this wave. There's a tree to the right that I'd like to work my way towards, but my move speed is so bad it's hard to get over to things like that. 
We'll recycle that. I should take the alloy, even though I lose um, dodge. The melee damage is still good, and the crit chance is important. And then losing lifesteal is a little painful, but the range is percent damage, and the attack speed is important on the banner, so we'll buy that anyways. I don't know if I want to actually purchase a banner. We'll, take, we'll upgrade these claws for sure. Um, I guess I, I should have gone to f to level... I, I should have combined these two level 1s and had six level 2s instead of a level 3. I think I need to buy the banner, though, because I think we need to burst down this elite. So I'm just going to take any damage that I find. I'll still take the Lost Duck. We'll roll again, and nothing here that I want. I don't think we can afford to buy Alien Worm. I don't think Wandering Bot is going to help. So we'll ro roll again. And then I will take the sunglasses, I think, over the mouse here. Uh, and we'll buy mouse next wave. I still do want the mouse, but I, I want as much damage as I can get to try to kill the elite as quickly as possible. 92% crit chance. So I think we can stop buying critical hit uh, now because we'll be able to have 100% critical hit. All right, it's the crocodile, which is bad news for us, although less bad news than it is for most melee characters because we're the hunter. So thanks to our very high range, we can still triangle dodge and DPS it reasonably efficiently. Um, so on this character or against this elite, you just want to move in a little triangle. So we're just kind of moving back and forth. Uh, and then just damage it as it goes past you. On a lot of melee builds, you'll have too low range to be able to do that efficiently, but on this build, because we're the hunter, the range was actually a big advantage in that fight, and we were able to clear it very quickly. So, uh, there, I, you know, I, I don't prioritize range. I think it's, in general, a pretty weak stat, but it, there are times when it's good, and that was definitely one of them. Not that many times, but... Um, when it's good, you know, it's it's not something that you'll turn down. Uh, yeah, we'll keep taking spicy sauce. Not not the item I would have expected to have this many of. Wow, the worst possible find. Um, we are spicy sauce is not an important component of our damage, so the explosive shells is totally useless to us. That that's really unfortunate. Fingers, I think this will this crit chance will put me over a hundred percent, so I'm just gonna re-roll it. And then I'll just take this. Um, I guess this is four flat damage. This is two flat damage for the level twos and three flat damage for the level threes, I think. So actually, I'm just going to take the attack speed. The level two attack speed, I think, is actually better than the, uh, the flat melee damage at this stage. Triangle of Power will cost me percent damage, but we can't afford to take that many hits anyways. So maybe I should buy it regardless. I kind of feel like buying this entire shop, but I can't afford it. Um, I'll definitely buy mouse, because the lifesteal is good, the economy is still going to be useful. I will definitely buy fairy. I, I, I'm very tempted to buy the triangle of power here, because 20% damage is, it will double our percent damage. I think I will, and I'm going to lock the gambling token and then reroll, and then we'll upgrade our claw. That's a, a very aggressive series of purchases, so now we can't afford to take hits, but at least we've got a lot more damage than we had before. And you can't really afford to take that many hits on this character anyways, so Triangle of Power may end up costing me in the late game, but I think in this spot it was actually the right pick. I just need my damage high enough that I can be one-shotting things. So far, I've taken zero hits this this wave. Um, and I'm going to buy dodge as well. I'll buy tardigrade if we see it to mitigate the downsides of the triangle. This does mean I can't buy bloody hand or blood donation, but that's okay. Blood donation doesn't do anything for this character anyways. Bloody hand's only one item. All right, so I've taken one hit now, so triangle cost me 2% damage currently. So it's still plus 18%. So yeah, the triangle definitely was good there. We'll buy the coupon. Still, it'll still pay for itself. And then let's reroll this mess. 3% damage from the range is just not worth it. And we'll take the attack speed. I don't think I want to buy luck. I'll take the dodge and I'll roll. I'm just looking for damage here. We'll take insanity, right? Um, yeah, 
we're not going to max out our claws, it looks like, so Insanity, I think, is going to be good. Will the coupon pay for itself? So we've only got four more shops, and we're not making that much money. I think it won't. I think at this point we're going to skip coupon. I think I'll skip Whetstone as well. I'm just looking for anything that does more damage, like Poisonous Tonic, which is perfect for this character. Even gives me range for 1.5% damage, but you can see why I say that the Hunter passive is just not that strong, because, I mean, buying 15 range and getting 1.5% damage just doesn't matter. But... Uh, obviously, the crit chance and attack speed are still good on this item. Alright, so now we're just going to try to damage down the Elite as quickly as possible. We should have the damage for it, no problem. Nope, got a dodge there. Have taken one hit from the triangle so far, and we've managed to kill the Elite. Now that we have a 100% crit chance on most of our weapons, this gets a lot easier. Also, our uh, hunting trophy triggers more reliably as a result of that as well. Make sure to break that tree. Oh, loot alien. Can we kill it? No, it, it turned away from me and my move speed is really bad. Night goggles is normally the, uh, the obviously this is the hunter's weapon, so or hunter's item. I think we might pass on it though. 5% five, 5 damage for minus 2 HP, minus 1 armor. Um, the crit chance doesn't matter because we've got 86% already, so we're critting 100% of the time anyways. Yeah, I think we're recycling that. That is, again, pretty unlucky, but what can you do? I'll take the dodge here. I'd like to hit maximum dodge. And I'll take glass cannon. Yes, it cost me HP, but at this point, we're just trying to kill stuff as quickly as possible, I think. Another glass cannon. Hmm. I'll, I'll definitely take community support. It's, it's costing me health and armor pretty rapidly, but combined with our triangle, I think our goal is just going to be to burst things down as soon as possible. So, yeah, I guess we're just... Uh, Regretting the stone skin purchase at this point, though I think the stone skin was good enough that it was worth taking anyways, has been good enough that it was worth taking anyways. I think I will lock the tree here, it'll still, if it gives me even one tree and that tree got, dropped a crate, which it's fairly likely to do, it'll be worth it. But yeah, we, we like almost doubled our damage in that shop because of buying those two glass cannons, so even though it makes me a lot more vulnerable, I think it was it was worth it. I need to be hunting down and killing these brain bugs. It's hard when we're so slow. I'm very unused to playing with 3% move speed because I prioritize move speed pretty heavily, so this is just not a play style that I'm that accustomed to. Crossing the map feels glacial to me right now. Any hits we take, again, are very painful, so I need to avoid that, I say as I walk into an attack. Didn't actually take a hit from it, so, you know. All skill there. Alright, that's the first a hit we took, but it did do 22 damage, so I need to be very careful now. I'm going to recycle this. I don't I don't want to go to negative uh, speed. And then here, we lose attack speed and crit chance, but gain 10% damage or 11% damage. Again, this item is just not good for us, so we'll recycle it. Still very unlucky there. Recycle that. <laughs> that could not have been a worse set of items for us to find, honestly. Um, we'll take the muscly dude for sure. And the tree ritual. Yep, I'll take that. Even the one flat damage from the Hedgehog I think is going to be worth it, so I'll, I'll take that. I will definitely take Cyclops Worm. It's it's only plus 11 damage, percent damage, but that's still good. Um, and I think we won't take Gentle Alien going into the Elite Wave. And I'll reroll here. Alright, nothing that I want, so we'll just have to survive Wave 19. And basically I'm just trying to buy as much damage as I can to kill the bosses as soon as quickly as possible, because... We are not going to, with 47 health, we're not going to survive multiple hits from them anyways. 
so we're just trying to max out our damage. It's possible I rolled past some claws because I'm not not used to buying them on this character. Um, but if I didn't, then I will say the fact that we're still on level 2 claws with a single level 3 is very unlucky just having not found any weapons for this character. So, either that's a play mistake, and I'm blaming my mistakes on luck um, in the finest tradition of gamers everywhere, or we're genuinely unlucky. Eight hundred materials. That wave feels pretty good. We'll take the two melee damage. Sure. I think I will take the armor here. Um, that'll just mean we're slightly less likely to get one shot. Rip and tear would be pretty good if we weren't going into wave twenty. Here, yeah, I'll take the attack speed. That's fine. We're just looking for anything that increases my damage. Blindfold. I could get. Yeah, we're at a hundred percent crit chance, so it doesn't really matter. Although the dodge is not irrelevant. Ritual. Percent damage is the type of damage we need the least, but still probably worth picking up. And I think I will just go ahead and buy the blindfold because 5% dodge is worth a lot in terms of not dying here. And I, there's no guarantee we find items we actually want. So I'll roll some more. I don't want the missile. Do I want the leather vest? It does get me to dodge cap. It doesn't cost me that much health. So I think we are buying the leather vest and we'll reroll. I wouldn't mind this beanie, but we can't afford anything, so didn't find that much damage this uh, shop, but at least we got some stuff, and we now do a reasonable amount of damage, and hopefully we can kill the bosses before I just die. Try to stack them up here so that we're hitting them both at once, if possible, and we want to kill the octopus head first. Got a dodge there, and then tanked one hit, get my full heal. We're, we're very slow, so instead of being able to move out of this guy's attack, we have to move w uh, with it and stop. But we did at least have enough damage to kill them, so that worked out pretty well, and that was a pretty fun run, honestly. Uh, the Hunter is always a really interesting challenge, just because it's so difficult as a character, especially with non-optimal weapons like this. Um, and I, I'm feeling pretty good about that one. We got so unlucky in the early waves and still managed to make it through, so uh, yeah definitely I feel like played well made, made mostly good decisions there's some that maybe are debatable or that I wouldn't necessarily do if I went back and did it again but a lot of this worked out really well finished with 50 HP and made it through all right my friends hope you've enjoyed this random random run uh, and as always of course if you have feel free to leave a comment like the video and you can subscribe to my channel for more Brotato and other strategy games cheers folks I'll catch you next time